Greetings to everyone. Today's topic is polar and non-polar molecules. We all are aware of the word polarity, which means that there is a state of having two extremely opposite aspects. In chemistry we have two types of compounds. Number one polar compounds and number two nonpolar compounds. Let us consider a situation in which we have a piece of cheese and water set aside. Now when we squeeze the cheese with our hands it sticks to our hand. We try to wash our hand with water ha. Huh? Ha. Huh? It is not working at all. The reason behind this is that water is a polar molecule while cheese is a non-polar one. So they usually do not react with one another. Now moving on to the polar molecule. Polar molecule is one which has a partial positive charge and partial negative charge. It is due to the variation in electronegativity of the bonded atoms. They will not exhibit symmetry, as one molecule will be bigger and the other will be smaller. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract the electrons towards itself. Now let us consider the molecule hydrogen fluoride. In this molecule, hydrogen wants an electron to become stable the same case in that of fluorine. But the fluorine atom has high electronegativity which is 3.98 than that of the hydrogen atom which is 2.2. Making the fluorine atom to pull the electron towards itself. Because of this the electron cloud is bigger in fluorine when compared to hydrogen. So we can observe that there is a partial positive charge acquired by hydrogen denoted by delta plus and a partial negative charge delta minus by fluorine. The polar molecule has dipole moment. The dipole moment is due to the difference in the electronegativity of the bonded atoms. The formula for dipole moment measurement is mu equal to E multiplied by D. Where D is the distance between two atoms. The unit of dipole moment is dB. The dipole moment of a molecule can be determined by using an instrument known as oscillometer. The another molecule is nonpolar molecule. Nonpolar molecule is in which there is no separation of such charges as in the polar molecules. Because there is no difference in the electronegativity of the bonded atoms. Example we can consider Cl2. This is the perfect example for the non-polar molecule. The electron cloud is equally distributed and they are perfectly symmetrical in this molecule. The polar molecule will dissolve only in polar solvent and the same for non-polar one. Thanks for watching.